Thomas, are you there? Yes, I, I'm here over in the UK. Well, welcome. He's, uh, he's in the UK, and uh, we're here in the United States, and the telescopes that we're using right now are set up on the Canary Islands, so this is really a global uh, enterprise. Uh, uh, tell me, are you excited? But yeah, we, we in the UK were going to be amongst the first to actually witness the arrival of the asteroid because um, we could see it uh, after sunset on our western horizon. So we were really, all really geared up for it. And uh, have you had any images yet? We, we're seeing them here at SLU. The people who are on uh, currently at SLU are seeing it as a little streak going past our, uh, uh, in our field of view. And if you keep pressing, I'm just reminding that uh, viewers and listeners, if they press on the button on the top, they will get to a chart showing the position right now, this minute, of the asteroid YU-55 as, uh, as it is streaking now well within the moon's uh, orbit. And uh, what does this mean to you, Dr. Miles? Well, it's, it's an opportunity. It's, it's quite a rare opportunity to inspect these things up close. Uh, you already mentioned how most uh, populate the asteroid belt way beyond Mars. But when, when an object gets perturbed by the gravity of, say, the planet Jupiter, sometimes it comes in really close, and so we can, we can observe it uh, close up, so to speak, close up and personal, as we say. Mm. And so uh, well, what we were hoping to was to get a view of it um, from the UK, but unfortunately the, the country is pretty uh, cloud-bound at the moment. We're completely uh, uh, covered with... Uh, Cloud. So I, I, uh, I, I think I, a lot of the people will be tuning into SLU and, and seeing uh, what's happening that way. Yes. And just to be doubly sure, we also have a uh, observatory a feed in uh, Arizona that we're planning uh, at uh, 9 o'clock Eastern time uh, to also present uh, a further look at it. So we're, we're trying to cover all our bases here. And yeah, well, uh, the, best, the best views will be later on when, because uh, as each shower goes by, it's getting brighter as we speak, and uh, over the first six hours, it gets something like 40 times brighter, and then um, even even through into uh, the next few hours, it will get another factor of five brighter, and so it, it should be visible to many people, certainly in uh, in the U.S. Yes, that's that's very exciting, and I would imagine that the reason for